before going my talk, how many of you guys uh, know or use D3? Awesome. How many of you guys think D3 is Diablo 3? <laughs> <laughs> Diablo 3. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. So I'm going to be talking about uh, these three things, not the other three. So as Simplerich, uh, Simplerich is an analytics company for publishers to tell the story behind their data. So we have many visualizations like donut chart, uh, time series chart, and bar chart. So uh, our aim is built in Ember, and we use this for this uh, visualization. So what is D3? So D3 is Sask Library by Mike Bostock, who works at NewYorkTimes.com. And D3 is for manipulating DOM based on data. And D3 is, uh, great, D3 is for great data visualizations in SVG. And D3 is a uh, data-driven document for sure. So why D3 is great for data visualization? because it is very flexible to make a chart in HTML or SVG. Also, you can make your own style chart with CSS. And then this really does the complicated math for like scale and domains your, for your chart. And then this really focus on binding data to DOM so you can think more about your data and tell the story behind your data. So here's an example of great visualizations using uh, D3. So this example site, you can find an uh, example of D3 uh, by D3 API. And the second one is with categorized. So as you can see left side, you can find uh, by chart type, like if you want to find like visualization for map, or line chart, and you can also uh, search by author. And with a uh, great visualization, you can tell the story uh, very uh, nicely. So this is uh, one of my favorite uh, example at New York Times. So think about making this uh, visualization with Google chart or high chart, as if you can make it. <laughs> so let's take a look at a uh, simple example of making bar chart with uh, D3 and HTML.
does the complicated math for like scales and domains, so you don't have to uh, <coughs> worry about the math. So this is awesome for great visualizations, but there are hard things to do with this three. So as you can, you, your application grows, your code can quickly turn into spaghetti code, and making the user chart is hard, so. and handling SVG with properties is also hard. So dealing with don uh, manipulation in D3 is uh, hard, hard to uh, hard to maintain your code. Like in our app. We have many different charts, so you need to define all the div element with ID to find where you want to put your chart. So think about your code, and you will uh, become code. And then you want to refactor your code using like object-oriented uh, pattern to organize your dumb manipulations. So making the usual chart, uh, so Michael Bostock already wrote an article about making the usual chart with a uh, JavaScript pattern and OOP. And uh, MISO project, they also made this with a chart based on the article. But this is still hard to make the usual chart. And SVG, so the bottom code is SVG. So <coughs> you need to set some attributes like width and height on the SVG element. So if you want to make this passive chart in, uh, with HTML and CSS, you can easily uh, change the chart size uh, in CSS. But with SVG, you need to uh, trigger event of resize. And then every time you change your window, you need to update all the SVG element and doing both in all the different part. So let's make it easier with the Ember. So before uh, going through my talk, I should uh, talk what is Ember. Ember is a MVC JavaScript framework by Yuhuda and Tom to create amb ambitious web applications. <laughs> So how can we make it easier with Ember? So Ember gives you, Ember uh, MVC architecture gives you uh, separate concerns, and Ember component gives you making a uh, reusable chart, and data bindings and observers, so you can, every time your uh, properties like width and height is changed, your job will update it automatically. So separate concerns. This is an example of uh, bar chart code. The problem here is everything is one place. Like doing math and rendering DOM and getting data from server. So it is a hard, so if you have like complex code, it's hard to make, uh, maintain your code. But in Ember, you can there is MVC architecture, so you can see uh, where your data is, and then in Ember component, you can encapsulate uh, this record in Ember component and in HTML. So you can see more clear where your code is. So this is how it look like uh, in code. The first one is view layer, rendering DOM, and the second is uh, model layer to get data from server, and the third one is uh, Ember component, which is encapsulate this new code. So now I can see clear, then uh, everything is in one place. So let's make reusable chart with Ember component. So before I give you talk about Ember component, I should talk about Web component first. So W3C is making a web component, which is uh, is to make the user modular code like music. So once you make a web component in JavaScript, you can uh, and then add one tag in HTML. It will draw a chart in your HTML. So 
you can make the usable chart easily. So Ember already have the Ember already implemented the Ember component. So you can make a reusable chart with Ember component. So as you can see, the first group, this is Ember component, which is uh, which encapsulate these three codes. So once you have uh, this component, you can just add online code in HTML. It will render or magically render uh, the chart in HTML. So the first code is reusable this code with no component and the bottom one is um, reusable chart, making the usable chart with uh, Ember component. So problem with the first one is even if this uh, this code can make reusable chart, I can see the problem, which is you need to define this uh, div element. So if you want to add more chart, you need to add this div element because you need to find you need to find where you your chart to render. And second of all, you can easily break your chart code because if I change the name of ID, I need to change to places in HTML and JavaScript. But in Ember with Ember component, this uh, this HTML tag itself is SVG, so I would have to find the top element. So if I if I want to add more chart, I can just so once I make an uh, Ember component in JavaScript, I can just uh, add this one line of code with different uh, styles. So as simple reach our uh, dashboard, we have like three kind of component. The first is donor chart, and second is like bar chart and area chart. So once you define your chart component in JavaScript, you can just put this uh, this tag in HTML. And Ember's data bindings and observers gives you easy to configure properties and update the DOM, which is like SVG. So I made an example in JSP. So here's two different charts. The first one is a uh, bar chart and second is book chart. So as you expected, I uh, made two chart components. The first one is bar chart component, and second is uh, donut chart component. And I made attribute binding for width and height because I want to make different. Uh, I, I, want, I want to make different size of chart. And in draw function, there this is C3 code. So in HTML, what you can do is just add like bar chart tag and donut chart tag that draws uh, these two charts. And what if you want to add another chart, another donut chart, donut chart with different size? You can just add one line of code and then you can change the width, height, and then change the uh, data binding or make the change of the updates so I don't have to do nothing. I have to do nothing. So I'm just going to copy and paste and then draw the main ones. <laughs> usable chart uh, with Ember component and data bindings gives you uh, to uh, update, to change your properties and do updates. Okay. The change 
colors. Change colors? Yeah. In CSS. Yeah. So. But if you wanted to like have a, a chart that could change colors as well, you could just have it, it parse in that attribute as well. Um, you know, say you wanted to have certain set colors, set of color scales, then you could just plus them into the component as well, as long as you define it in the component API. Yeah. You would be able to update them. So all if they want to change, you have to expose it in the component. Yeah. So that's and I think part of the part of the way that components work is that they they allow you to define like a public API for what this thing can do. So in this component, you can change the width and the height, but not other things. But if you wanted to, you could. That is actually this new part. So in this record, so once I, uh, so the double child component now is SVG. So in here, these, these are actually this record. So you can uh, set class name when you append, append, append the DOM. So you can change the colors with CSS. CSS. 